Hey guys, my name is Alan Fox. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about Big Ed. I thought he was irrelevant. I totally forgot about him. I was not even thinking about him. Tell me why I opened TikTok today and the first video I see is Big Ed's exclusive interview with Us Weekly. I have been told you should probably try to date a celebrity because they know what it's like. I'm Jennifer Aniston. If you're single, you know, call me. Not even his own TikTok account or whatever. A freaking exclusive interview with us weekly. Like, I thought we left this man behind. We were not talking about him anymore, but he is still here. He is still thriving. And he has officially become the king of Delulu's because I thought I was insane. I thought I was insane because I believe myself to be Penelope Featherington. In my head, I'm married to Colin. But at least I'm not insane enough to be declaring it on the internet. That is what I'm doing right now. But, 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 this video isn't about me. This is about him. This is about him declaring that he wants to date Jennifer Aniston. Je Jennifer Aniston, like this, this interview, my goodness. This man never fails to freaking blow my mind. We need to talk about this. The funniest thing about these videos are the freaking titles because what do you mean he gets wedding proposals every day in his DMs? From who? Not humans? Are aliens sending him DMs? Not even freaking aliens would do that. So who- does he have like fake accounts? Is it bots? I don't think even bots would do that. The mom is giving freaking Lady Burbrook like perfection had already been done. I often say God did not bless me with another because perfection had already been achieved. <laughs> My goodness. He's going to be miserable? Him? You know, and that's when it hit her like a ton of bricks that it was over and... It would be so much better if we get to hear other people's story as well because why is he always the only one yapping? Why don't we ever get Liz's side of the story or Rose's side of the story? It's always him talking on everyone's behalf telling it hit her like a ton of bricks and not like a freaking breath of relief. Like she freaking dodged a bullet. She is probably one of the smartest people I, I'll ever meet. She was, I don't know what her intellectual um, score was, but. I don't know what her intellectual score was. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. Like, I don't know what your intellectual score is, but I'm gonna explain this to you like it's minus 90. I'm looking for somebody that doesn't wanna be in the spotlight that doesn't want to be on TV. Now, would I date a fan? You know, I have, I don't recommend it. Fans? What, what fans? <laughs> the only fans that I can think of, anyone possibly liking this guy, could be men like him. So, unless we're counting that, I cannot think of anyone. I cannot think of anyone. Fa who? Who? Freaking who? What am I, a fucking owl? Owls are asking you who? They. They like Big Ed, the character that I created. And once, you know, they get to know the real Ed, well, um, we're inseparable. I'm kidding. So he's indirectly saying that he is not that person and he just created it for the show? What, what are you trying to get at? I get wedding proposals almost every other day. They're over 85 years old. Over 85 years old. And, and I don't even know where their nursing home is, so... At least he's honest. I mean, that's 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 one possibility. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a uh, good for you, Ed. Good, good for. And they invited me to go on a couple's trip to Florida. Um, all expenses paid. I'm like, you know what? I believe him. I believe him. Anything is possible in freaking Florida. Like it's, it always have to be freaking Florida. I believe him. Anything can happen. They don't want to have lunch with me. You know, they want to have lunch with, with, with Big Ed, so. Oh, you poor thing. Nobody wants to have lunch with the real Ed. They all want to have lunch with Big Ed. The character that, apparently, the character that you're playing on the show, the character that is paying your bills, the characters that is the reason we even care about, we don't care about you, we know you. How bad, how terrible that people want to Honestly, I don't know why anybody would want to have that, but still, how terrible a fate. I would love to meet, you know, a conservative Catholic woman would be my dream. Of course, 
I want a good Catholic wife. Don't they all? Every fucking man wants a good Christian wife, but none of them ever want to stop and think for one second, why would a good woman want me? Why would a good woman ever want to sully herself by being in your freaking presence even? Like not even want to be in a relationship with you, a good woman would not even want to be in the same freaking room as you. And I'm not even talking about Ed. I'm talking about all of the men that are freaking man hoes and then go around being like, I want a good Christian wife. Why would she want you? Are all the good men dead? I can assure you, none of them want you. There are a lot of good men out there. A lot of them. So I'm down 19 pounds right now. The fact that Liz lost 250 pounds and he only lost 19? <laughs> My therapist said, look, um, your behavior doesn't have to define who you are. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what therapist he's seen? Because I freaking need to see them as well. They are the reason for these Delulus. They are the reason he thinks that he's the man that he is. Because the hell does this even mean? Your behavior does not have to define you. Then what does? I can go ahead and kill people and that does not have to define me. I would get like a written slip. My behavior does not define me. Everybody knows that I'm a good girl officer. <laughs> And I can also pray for Liz, which I do. Okay, jokes aside, because this is about God and I want to clarify this. I would never judge anyone and I would never joke about anyone going to church or going towards God, you know, whatever their religion may be. Because at the end of the day, we have all hurt people, we're all sinners, we're all bad people. So I would never sit here and be like, oh, now you want to go to church? No. So, you know, whatever he's doing, if he's becoming a better person, good for him. Good for him, and I appreciate that, and I respect that more than anything, so just want to clarify that. She actually surprised me. She got my age wrong, I'll be totally honest. Doesn't feel nice, does it? My birthday's coming up, and my dad was like, there's four days until it. I, I don't know if he knows what my age is, but, you know, still, like, points for remembering it. I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask him, do you know what year I'm turning? <laughs> He knows the year I was born, so he always does like a calculation, like, mm, you're turning 29. Fun. I have you know. a feeling Big Ed ain't going anywhere. We're going to still I see know. on the box. I know. Yeah. I he might want to go somewhere, but you guys are not going to let him go anywhere. <laughs> so that was it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like. Also, comment below and let me know. Do you like this or not? Should I be talking about other things besides like TV shows and movies? So let me know and also subscribe, click the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload and also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Only Fox and yeah, that is it. I'm the only Only Fox in this world. And, and I kind of enjoyed doing this video. Like I normally avoid them because it's real people we're talking about, you know? I, at the end of the day, I'm, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So. When it's a TV show, I do it because it's not real people. When it's a real person, I'm like, damn. Imagine somebody makes a video about you like that. So I avoid these videos, but then if you guys like them, I might do them. So yeah, let me know that and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.